I'm Professor Praveen Anand, a Professor of Clinical Neurology at Imperial College London, based at the Hammersmith Hospital. And I would like to tell you about the use of CHEPs in our unit, particularly for the diagnosis of small fibre neuropathy or dysfunction in chronic pain states. The reason why I first used the CHEP system was because we are referred a number of patients with symptoms suggestive of small fibre neuropathy, which is very hard to diagnose by conventional means. Nerve conduction studies and quantitative sensory testing have been used to study large fibres, thermal thresholds for small fibres, but these require the cooperation of the patient and they cannot be performed in babies. The prospect of an objective, non-invasive test was provided by CHEPS or Contact Heat Evoked Potential Stimulator. And quite early we discovered that indeed this method was probably more sensitive even than skin biopsies which have been used increasingly around the world with quantification of intraepidermal fibers being a sensitive measure of diagnosing small fiber neuropathies. CHEPS was at least as sensitive including clear abnormalities of the A delta potentials even in patients who had border zone low numbers of nerve fibers on intraepidermal fiber biopsy counts. We therefore proposed that as a non-invasive method CHEPs can be useful in the early diagnosis of small fiber neuropathies including patients with common neuropathies such as diabetes but also in children who belong to families where there is a history of congenital insensitivity to pain. I'm very pleased with the CHEP system. It's easy to use, it's safe, it can be used in different regions of the body and as mentioned before it can be at this stage complementary to other objective measures including skin biopsies as well as skin flare responses. We have studied over 40 patients now with contact heat evoke potential stimulation and recorded reduced amplitudes of the A delta responses in patients with small fiber neuropathy. We have correlated the changes we have seen with a number of traditional tests such as quantitative sensory testing using the TSA, particularly thermal perception thresholds and also two other objective measures of small fiber dysfunction and neuropathy, namely skin biopsies with intraepidermal fiber counts and skin flare responses I can tell you that the sensitivity of CHEPs is at least as good as the other methods use. It has versatility and safety and ease of use and of course unlike skin biopsies is non-invasive. An additional advantage of the contact heat of potential stimulator is in assessing lesions of the spinothalamic pathway in patients who have subtle signs and symptoms. Another role that CHEPS may provide is as a biomarker or a surrogate in clinical pain drug trials, particularly where these involve antagonists of the TRIPV1 or the heat and capsaicin receptor.